Week two of the Hut Elites event is here, and we've got another 94 overall upgrade master item to go over, and it is another good one. We're going to break down all the cards, show you all the sets and objectives. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with the 94 Dougie Hamilton. This will work exactly like the 94 Austin Matthews from week one, and this thing is nuts. For anyone that does not own any right-handed fantasy items like Drew Doughty or Oliver Bonk, in my opinion right now, this is the best right-handed handed defenseman in the game. He's got two-way and offensive, as well as defensive checking and shooting boost. That two-way defenseman will boost his defensive awareness almost up to max. He's got 94 speed, excel, and agility with 95 balance and 90 endurance at 6'6", 230. His shot is almost max. His hand stats are in the mid-90s, and he's got gold shutdown, which in my opinion is one of the best defensive abilities in the game. To throw on top, we've also got quick pick, which is a great ability to stop those forced cross-crease passes. I will have a full video out ranking all of the masters set players from the HUD Elites event. Spoiler alert, this is an S-tier card. I think everyone should make this unless you are like what I just mentioned. You have the fantasy items like the 99 Bonk or Drew Doughty. Like I mentioned, it will operate exactly like the Austin Matthews card did where the final upgrade will require five HUD Elite Dougie Hamilton items. And I'll show you how you acquire those, but it operates exactly like the Austin Matthews did from week one. On to the other master set players from week two. We've got the 93 Kirill Kaprizov, 5'10", 202 with playmaking and sniper forward as well as playmaking, shooting, and agile dangler boost. I wish they would give Kirill Kaprizov a card that has, like, max skating because we just don't receive that until he gets to, like, 99. He's got 95 skating across the board, which is great. Don't get me wrong. He's also got, essentially, a max shot and gold elite edges with beauty backhand wheels and make it snappy. His hand stats are almost max, and then defensively, obviously, that's where he isn't very elite. The issue with Kirill Kaprizov's card is that there's just so many left-handed ops. And low-key, maybe that's a good thing because it allows you to just pick your favorite player out of the bunch, but there are so many left-handed wingers, and we're going to get to a bunch more in this release. Like the 93, Miko Rantanen, 6'4", 215, with power and sniper forward, as well as speed boost, agile dangler, and playmaking boost. So this card can actually get to 96 speed, 94 acceleration and agility, 95 balance, and 90 endurance. This is why cards like Kirill Kaprizov, like there's just a clear discrepancy in the card that's going to perform better in Hut for you. He's got a max shot, max hand stats, gold unstoppable force, snipe, tape to tape, and silver one T for anyone that's in division one and two this is a great option for you and again I will have a full ranking of all these cards I will say that I would rather have Svechnikov than this Miko Rantanen card simply because Svechnikov plays better than his attribute then we've got the 93 Elias Pettersson 94 speed and excel 96 agility with 90 balance and endurance he does have speed boost to get up to 96 speed and then power of playmaking forward great shot good hand stats 90 face offs and 90 body checking I say this every year I've used a Elias Pettersson or I've tried out his card every single game for the last like four seasons and every single time I try because he is 6'2 he looks like an okay build the 176 however he just gets knocked out the puck so easily I know he has silver unstoppable force but just like Panarin and Marner cards they just get thrown around especially with how hitting is like in NHL 24. Our goaltender release for this event I gotta say I love the like arcade style art from this event just looks so good Ilya Sorokin got gold show stopper as well as butterfly effect post to post and light work so i'd go light work and showstopper he's got 99 speed and he is six foot three so that is usable but there, again there's no point in really using an expensive goaltender and then lastly from the elites event we've got the 93 eric carlson two-way defenseman and offensive defenseman as well as defensive checking and accelerator boost now accelerator boost will get his acceleration up to 98 to go with 96 speed 96 agility 90 balance and then 92 endurance if you can get that activated two-way defense Defenseman will help out his defensive awareness. The issue with Eric Carlson cards now is that he has great speed in skating, obviously, but it's not as good as Makar, and his body checking is so low. Even his defensive awareness is pretty low for a 93, and he doesn't really get any good defensive abilities. Like, there's just far better options, in my opinion. I may also be biased because I just don't like Eric Carlson as a Sharks fan, but still, the, in the prior games, he was just way better. Now, in the HUD Elites event sets, again, very similar to week one. It will cost you five event collectibles to 
to make one of the master set players. You can make week one as well still to get you the 84 card, which you then can upgrade. If you are going to make some of these master set items to get event objectives done, so you're trying to throw in a few event collectibles to grab a card so that you can work towards the games played, things like that, I would recommend doing these sets first so that you can trade in three. You will get a random one. You don't get to choose it, but then you can go ahead and make another one at a little bit of a discounted price because you know what you got in this set. And then just like the Austin Matthews upgrade item, you can get a discount on one of the collectibles. You will need five. Make sure you do this one first before the week timer runs out because it is half price with only four of HUD Elite collectibles. You can also get one for trading in four Dougie Hamilton cards. These are going to be jacked up in terms of the price points. They are going to be gated in terms of the market price. Do not do this at all. I would sell all of my Dougie Hamilton cards. It's going to be cheaper to just trade in eight HUD Elite event items to get a collectible than to do the three Dougie Hamilton cards. So I would recommend doing that. So then you also have the Hud Elites Hamilton Ultimate Objective Path. Same situation as what it was with Austin Matthews. You've got to do a bunch of objectives with a Hamilton Elite item. So if you trade in for his 84, for example, and then you will get one Hamilton upgrade item. Again, that just saves you essentially eight collectibles. You need five in total, remember. The Austin Matthews one is finished. You only have a week to do it. The Austin Matthews one is done. Week two will also give you nine more power up collectibles if you finish week one and two you will get 18 power-up collectibles which would get you essentially all the way up to 92 overall so you almost get a free master set item very close there are new moments for the week two items that will net you various packs and coins or collectibles. The Dougie Hamilton one will also get you a Hamilton upgrade item. Again, so that's a free way to do it to knock down the price a little bit. This one's actually not so difficult, even though it is on Superstar. We've also got a new Hut Rush rewards path that will get you an 84 Charlie Coyle as you go through it, as well as an 86 Joe Pavelski. You'll get a Hut Elites collectible, a few of them, a power-up collectible at tier 19, and then that Dougie Hamilton collectible at tier 20 so same thing as austin matthews that is a grind though to get a million taking a look at the week two event items we've got the 84 charlie coil from hut rush if you are just starting out the game this is actually a half decent card for you 90 speed 90 excel six foot three 223 and 85 draws again for completely free and very easy to obtain by completing the hut rush objectives you could do worse this joe pavelski is actually kind of fun looking at 511 200 he's actually got 90 speed and excel his skating is always like in the low 80s but totally Total Eclipse, as well as Big Tipper, is a super fun ability combo. Total Eclipse, like I've talked about on my TikTok and YouTube shorts, when you have a gold Total Eclipse player in front of the net, it will light up under the player when the goalie is in a screen state, meaning that you can just flick up and know that the goalie is screened to give you a better shot of scoring. It's also got 85 face-offs, so same thing, not a bad card for completely free. Then we've got some custom builds in the 86 Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Uh, again, 90 speed, accelerating, and agility all across the board here with gold tape to tape and elite edges. Nothing crazy here. I'd probably just use him for objectives and then trade him in. Jeremy Swayman gets a new card of gold light work, which is great. 90 speed though, and he's only 6'2", 194. So again, just not going to be very usable in game if you play online. Mackenzie Weger, man, he had a great master set player last year with, to with two-way defenseman and gold truculence, 90 91 speed excel as well as 93 91 endurance this is a great 88 overall defenseman that you can get a lot of players should take advantage of this card this is a sneaky good card the 89 rasmus dolin this is better than his x factor six foot three 201 two-way defenseman as well as defensive and shooting boost gets his defensive awareness up even higher 92 speed and excel can get to 93 endurance but also has gold heat seeker which has some usefulness but give that one aside he's got silver shutdown and edges he's six foot three 202 with 90 92 speed and excel there is a lot worse defenseman that you could use and again at 89 overall he might be a little bit cheaper because of that overall so for anyone that started around christmas time this is a great left-handed defenseman option brick bowser gets a 90 overall custom build at two-way and sniper forward as well as speed boost and agile dangler boost so 95 speed 93 excel essentially a maxed out shot with gold snipe big tipper close quarters and one t so no dominant abilities but some fun ones again a very sneaky useful card with 95 speed and then our last event card, we've got the 91 Jesper Bratt, 510, 175 with sniper and playmaking forward, as well as playmaking and shooting boost. Gold
gold edges, tape to tape, make it snappy, and shrug it off. We've talked about that. This might actually be pretty useful. 96 speed and excel, 94 agility, 95 balance, and 92 endurance. It's a great skater, as well as gold elite edges to go with an almost maxed out wrist shot. While he is very small, again, if you can't afford any of the left-handed wingers that came out, this could be a decent option for you for sure. So I will have a full ranking of all of the master set players available, as well as going over some of the other cards in another video. But let me know what you think of the week two additions to the HUD Elites event. I'll see you next time.